Welcome back to my channel. You join me, it's early July. Back at Norton Disney, this time I'm on Turner's Lake. I arrived here on a Sunday morning. There was plenty of availability. I was originally intending on fishing on Billy's Lake. I've always fancied that lake. And uh, it was quite busy on there. And Neil Spooner, he'd been fishing over the weekend and doing really well. So I think that attracted some more anglers to go over to Billy's. So yeah, Billy's was quite busy. There was a few pegs free um, at the bottom end, like where the island is. But I just, I didn't really fancy it. Um, so I had a drive round, seeing there was loads of availability around the complex. And when I had a little walk round, got to Turner's and I seen there was only a few people on. So there's about 18 swims I think on Turner's and I think there was only three swims were taken. So I've jumped in swim three. I don't know much about it. It's very conveniently located near the toilet block. So I've got far to go. The car's not far from here either. So on arrival to this lake, there was a lot of fish shown in, in my area. So I was a bit reluctant to make much of a interference with a marker rod. So I started off just by putting three solid bags out in the areas where I'd seen a few fish show. But they've now been out for about an hour and a half. And other than the odd little bleep where I think I've had a fish swimming in the line, it's all been quiet. So I didn't get that early bite that I thought I might be able to get just by casting into some shown fish. They still are showing a little bit, not as frequent as they were a few hours ago. But I've just had the mark rod out. I found a nice area. It is quite close to the middle of the lake, pretty deep. I think it's in about 15 foot of water. And probably can't see it on this. But there is a, a life boy. Don't know if that's it there. Can't see it very well. It's a life boy just straight out in front of me. And I've found about 18 wraps. It's nice and clear really deep water and I'm going to bring all three rods in I'm going to change out the solid bags I'm going to put spinner rigs on use some pop-ups and I'm going to spam out a mixture of boilies and corn to that area 18 maps out and just have all three on a spot and what will be will be. But yeah, pub chucking some solid bags to show and fish didn't work for me on this occasion. So I'm going to uh, put all three rods on that area towards the middle of the lake. There's no one fishing opposite me. Not towards that area anywhere. Get some bait out there and see if we can catch a fish over the next two nights. Well, literally two minutes after I put the camera down and I was going to go to plan B, put loads of bait out. My middle rod ripped off. So. On a solid bag, 26 pound mirror. Absolutely lovely dark colours on it. It fought really well. One of the best fighting carp I've ever, uh, I've ever battled with. Here we go, 26 pound of Norton Disney Turner's Lake Mirror Carp. I love the dark colours on these, 
absolutely stunning absolutely buzzing get some footage of the other side look at this absolutely stunning over the moon if that rod had been in the water maybe two hours it's great to get off the mark and even if I don't get another one in the rest of the session I'm going to be more than happy what a stunning carp So it's just over an hour since that uh, 26 pound mirror. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny how things go sometimes. I was just starting to think, you know, change change tactics, fish over some bait. You know, the rods have been out for a good hour and a half. Uh, just casting some solid bags to some showing fish, which weren't very far out, maybe about 40 yards. Um, and yeah, nothing had happened, so. I thought it wasn't going to happen, um, so yeah, and then as soon as I put the camera down after saying that message, my middle rod just absolutely ripped off. Um, my middle rod is in line with Swim 16, which is kind of almost opposite this this peg, um, and yeah, it was probably about 40 yards, and it just absolutely uh, ripped off. I'd say I've caught quite a lot of carp in my time, low to 20s, number of 30s, but I'm not kidding you, that carp, it had so much energy, a lot more than me. It probably took 20 minutes to get that in, and it wiped out my other rods, it was, it was just absolutely, it was on rails, it was just going crazy, um, but yeah, I enjoyed, enjoyed the fight, managed to get it in. So that was just on a solid bag with um, a little yellow wafter, uh, a Baitworks pineapple, and yeah, over the moon. So, like I said, it's just over an hour since that carp, but because it had wiped my rods out, I've had to, I've had to do loads of faffing about. So I've managed to get them all back out. So what's happened at the moment is I've put that rod back out where roughly where I caught that fish. Obviously, because I hadn't wrapped that up it was just cast to a shown fish I've put that in the rough area so it's around 40 yards out it's not that far so that rod's now my right hand rod in that area and I've put my other two rods further out into the deeper water where I was planning to originally and um, they're 18 wraps so what's that about 70 yards so right on the limit of this swims um, barrier sort of thing so yeah um, in the deep water with them two rods they're slow and solid bags just uh, decided just to keep them all on solid bags and I've not put any bait out just yet I'm gonna give it a few hours and then um, if you know like late evening time if nothing's happened then I'm gonna put some bait out especially over in the deeper water and then just see what happens but more of the moon, managed to get that one on the bank. So, pressure's off, you can just enjoy the rest of the session. It was a really good quality, beautiful carp, really nice. Lovely colours on it. So, yeah, pressure's off, you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the session. Um, the fish are still showing now, so, looks like they're still up this end of the lake, so, keep my fingers crossed that we're in for a 
some more bites for the rest of the session. But yeah, I'll give you an update in a bit. So that swim, pretty much direct opposite me, is swim 16. So that fish was caught pretty much in line with that swim. They're around 40 yards out, so a lot closer to, to me than the middle of the lake. The middle of the lake is roughly 80 yards. So yeah, that's where that one came from. And I put my other two. There's a... I can't really see it on this screen with my sunglasses on, but there's a, a life boy over there somewhere. And uh, yeah, I managed to find a nice clear area at around 18 wraps or about 70 yards. Just on the uh, limit of this boundary for this swim. So yeah, the other two of mine have gone over there in the deep water. Pretty much the middle of the lake. See if anything happens without any bait over the top and then if nothing happens in the next few hours. I'll introduce some bait tonight and uh, see if that can encourage them to get the heads down. But we're off the mark, which is the main thing. Just a very simple mix of boilies and sweet corn. That's what's going to go out in the spawn. Hopefully encourage some uh, feeding. How is that for a sky at night? Yeah, it's been a quiet evening. They stopped showing in this area at about four o'clock this afternoon. And uh, yeah, it's all been quiet. Um, nothing to report. So I've currently got um, two solid bags towards the life boy over the other side in the very deep water. 18 wraps out. I didn't put any bait over the top of them and then I put about a kilo of bait um, in line with that swim over there which is swim 16 at around eight and a half wraps out so not very far out about 35 yards something like that and I've got one solid bag over some bait on there I think the plan is, is if I get nothing during the night um, on one of the two deeper rods, I'm going to have two rods over that baited spot, which is in about 10 foot of water, so a little bit shallower, nice clear area, and it's not a million miles away from where I caught that carp earlier, just a little bit closer in. But I have seen shows early today in and around that area, so I'm quite confident that that'll be a good area. And I think if that deeper spot doesn't do anything during the night, I think I'll have one rod on a zig out in that deep area tomorrow. And I'll keep two on the baited area close in. I think that'll be the plan. But yeah, I'm not expecting anything during the night. It all seems to have gone very quiet. I think most bites have been coming during the daytime lately. But just look at that sky. How nice is that? So quiet and peaceful. So there's 18 swims on turners, and I think there's three pegs taken. So nice and quiet. No, the 16 pegs, sorry. 16 pegs, 18 acre lake. But there's not not far off a thousand fish in here, there's 900 knot. You go up to 40 pound. It's a very popular lake on the complex normally. But I think with uh, Spooner fishing on billies. It's uh, encouraged people to go over there. So I thought I'd make the most of the opportunity. So yeah, if nothing happens during the night, I'll update you in the morning.
and it's 20 past 4 and I've just had a screaming take on my left hand rod unfortunately it's come off while I was playing it but that rod was the one towards the life boy across the other side 18 wraps in the deep water on a solid bag but at least I know now that you can uh, catch them in that deep area so I'm going to swap that rod over to a Ronnie rig and get that back out over that spot and I'll put a few spawns of bait over the top now but yeah unfortunately that one got away so it's about 10am now as you can see it's lovely weather um, sunny skies clear skies forecast for today so good for me not so good for the fishing but hey ho at least it's going to be comfortable um, so since the occurrence this morning what happened was I had a screaming take 20 past 4 this morning on my left hand rod which was one of the rods in the deep area towards the middle of the lake and um, yeah picked up the rod could feel the fish briefly for about five seconds didn't feel um, didn't feel like a, a great fish um, and then it just it come off so yeah very unfortunate but these things happen um, and yeah and it was sort of like daylight then and I just thought I might as well stay up so what I ended up doing was I brought in all three rods and I changed them over from uh, using a solid bag over to using like a, a Ronnie rig and the reason why I wanted to use a Ronnie rig was um, if you get done by a fish so if, if a fish goes for your hook bait and it doesn't hook itself a Ronnie rig resets itself um, where a solid bag doesn't a solid bag your your presentation is probably uh, screwed if you get done by a fish so yeah I wanted to change over to spinner rigs just for a bit of peace of mind and plus I use size 4 with a spinner rig so I've got a lot more confidence in if I hook a fish in landing it where solid bags tend to use small hooks size 6 with it being a barbless uh, rule on here I'm not totally confident using size 6 barbless like for a solid bag and size fours are just too big for a solid bag so yeah i've changed all three over to spinner rigs now um just using pop-ups and yeah i put the two rods back out towards the middle where i ended up baiting this morning um i put about 20 spawns over the top so i had my rods clipped up at 18 maps but because it's in like 15 foot of water I knew I had to make an adjustment but I had to kind of just guess so I clipped up the marker rod at uh, 16 wraps and I'm hoping it's roughly in the same area because obviously you only get quite a bit of swing back on the um, on the other rods so yeah hopefully that baits in and around that area and the fish are just starting to show a little bit nowhere near like what they were yesterday but yesterday was probably about half eleven by the time I really um, had, a, had a look at this lake so there's time yet but yeah it's uh, it's starting to live up, liven up a little bit I've seen a few shows in the last hour and then uh, my right hand rod that's still the one that's closer in which is the one in a similar area to the one I caught the fish on yesterday and yeah I put, um, put about 10 spoms a bit over the top of that so I'm quite happy that all three rods are fishing accurately got a little bit of bait over the top of them and it's just a waiting game now and see if anything happens um, but if nothing happens fishing wise at least I can just enjoy the day enjoy the weather get some fresh air um, the complex still seems to be pretty quiet. It's Monday now. There's a couple of people who moved on this, the lake this morning, but there's still only maybe five or six swims took out of the 
16 that are on here. So very quiet for, for on here. But I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying myself. Um, so yeah, so I'll be here till the morning. Get home Tuesday morning. For anyone from the Teesside area, it's just over two hours drive, so it's it's pretty good. Not too bad at all. It's literally just past Cromwell, if anyone's ever been to Cromwell. Which is another good fishery. But I do uh, much prefer not on Disney. Not on Disney is my favourite day ticket water. It just seems to have everything for me. And I do enjoy it. But it's been a very quiet day. It's been really warm. Got a bit too hot for me. Actually, uh, had to hide in my bivy quite a bit of today. I had my sun cream on, but yeah, it was very hot today, so... Very quiet on the fishing front, I think, for the whole lake. Not seeing anything. Barely seen any fish, to be honest. And I thought it might kick-start tonight, but very, very quiet. But very relaxing. For a day ticket lake, this is a very well-run, well-established venue. Highly recommend it if you've not been. I think I've seen the bailiffs twice since I've been here. First time asking to see my ticket, which is good. And second time to check the condition of the mat, net and waist thing. So they're certainly keeping on top of it. It's about eight o'clock at night. So I'm just chilling out with a cup of tea. Enjoying the cooler weather to be fair. But yeah, we're still enjoying it. There's still a chance of getting a fish during the night. Like I say, it was four o'clock when I got the take this morning, which unfortunately came off. But they were feeding during the night, so the rods are out. There's bait out there. I put the last of my bait in just tonight, so I had about a kilo left of the boiling corn, so I split it between the two spots. So I put about 15 to 20 spoms out over each area. So that's my bait used up. Whatever tonight brings, if anything. And I'll be getting away in the morning. But another very enjoyable session at Norton Disney. First time on Turner's Lake. It's good to get some uh, experience and knowledge of the lake. Because I wasn't really sure whether or not, for instance, the they fed very well in the deeper water, but since I had a take at four o'clock in the morning, I know that they can feed down in that deep area, which is about 18 foot. So yeah, made notes on my phone for if I come back to this peg. Don't have to worry about letting around and making a disturbance. But yeah, I'll update you during the night if I get anything. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Yeah, unfortunately it was a quiet night, nothing happening. Just a downpour of rain. So I'm gonna have a coffee, have some uh, instant porridge and get on the road. So thanks for watching. Um, really glad that I managed to get that fish on the first day. And what a stunning fish it was. But yeah, other than that, it's been a pretty quiet but enjoyable session. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.